how big a weekend? I mean, you know, in a nutshell, can you? This weekend yeah, coming this up? this coming weekend. I mean, at Miami, you know, uh, possible uh, hosting first round of play, or second round of the playoffs, et cetera. Just have well, you all uh, recharged your Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last first week. of all, I think, uh, you know, we want to bounce back. We're playing one of the better teams in the country in Miami, and they're fighting for a championship. They're fighting to win the league title. That's a pretty big thing. So on their senior weekend, so... You know, we got to get refocused here, go down there and try to get some points. We'd love to be able to play here at home, uh, you know, in the playoffs. So Miami's a great team. We played them three times. It's been pretty close all three games. And, you know, we got to somehow find a way to be on the other end of that. Do you guys, did y'all sit as a group and watch last week's games or parts of last week's games or what, you know, was it? Was it a horror show? I mean, how, how, did, you, how did you get the point across? Because obviously some good stuff last week, but some yeah, I mean, uh, there's no question. I mean, we always uh, take a look at uh, what we've done on the weekend and try to improve, and that's our job as coaches uh, to try to pick that apart. And, you know, yeah, we did some very good things. And you think of our team, if we scored three goals and this was the first half of the year, you'd think, well, that's that's a lock. But, yeah. you know, we gave up way too many chances and, uh, you know, way too, too many gifts back in our end. And that's just not our style of hockey. So we certainly got to get back to the basics and taking care of our end first. And when you give a team like Michigan, who's got some great skill, I think people don't underestimate who they are. Um, they just looked in the standings instead of looking what kind of team they are. And we knew it on film. You know, we just uh, we just didn't finish the job in the weekend and give Michigan credit. They, they certainly were the better team. So was it just missing that little bit, of, that little edge? I mean, was that what, <clears throat> as you look at it, was that what was missing? I mean, you know, maybe they had the edge, y'all didn't. You... Well, when you give a team that's got great skill, confidence, and it seemed like, uh, well, we took that penalty early on Friday and they got on a power play and they started throwing it around pretty yeah. good. It's almost like we gave that team some confidence and, and they went out and played that way. Um, special teams was a big part of that. Uh, they, they had the puck more when we were on the power play at times too. So, um, yeah, we missed a little bit of that. But, again, I think it's because of our defensive zone and we got to take care of that from the offensive blue line back, I think, was the mistakes we made. Uh, three goals should be good enough for our team to win. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we just didn't make that happen. Do you sense that? You know, this second half, you've been a lot more able to score goals than you were in the first half. And does that just maybe get in guys' head a little bit? You know, we're flying on offense. You know, is it harder to focus on defense? Does it kind of fall out of their their focus a little bit? You know. No, I mean, I, you know, I, again, I, you know, I think it's good that our team knows that we can go and score goals. I think that's a real positive. But I think, uh, you know, taking care of our D zone's got to be number one. And I think we've gotten away with that. A few times, and this weekend we paid the price, and and we left kind of Brady out to out to hang there a little bit, and felt bad for him. I mean, he's been there for us all year, and we kind of just said, "Here you go, Gel. Here's some point blank shots." And uh, when you do that again against a skilled team like that that we played, it's not going to end up very well. Um, so we, again, I can't say it enough. We got to get back to plan, you know, tighten our own end, play OSU hockey, and that doesn't mean we we want to win two to one. Uh, but that means we want to get back to not giving up as many opportunities. Do you show them the tape from some of the Miami games this year? Because you have played pretty well defensively against them up to this point. Do you kind of remind them, like, this is what we were doing when we were kind of yeah, no, with those guys? Yeah, no question. I mean, uh, you know, we, we grab bits and pieces of what we've done against them. We show them what they're doing lately. Um, you know, they went up and scored some goals this weekend. At times, they weren't scoring a lot of goals. Even as skilled as they were, they were scoring one, two goals a game. Obviously, their goaltending has been phenomenal uh, when you look at their numbers. So they've been doing it on both sides of the end, both sides of the rink right now. So we want to show the positives. Uh, obviously, we want to correct some of the mistakes we had this weekend. Um, we know we're going down there in their building where it's going to be pretty exciting. And, and uh, you know, it's playoff hockey time. So we certainly got to get better. With, with hockey, in some respects, being such a chaos sport, you know, as far as scoring goes, when you look at video, what, what do you mainly – what do you mainly look at as far as like refocusing or whatever? Is it just positioning? Is it attacking? Is it showing a guy maybe not giving the effort he, he had been given? I mean, what, what do you look at when you break well, up Well, you know, again, when we look at goals against, we look at a lot of things from, from the offensive blue line back. And meaning when they get the puck and they start breaking out of their end, what are we doing against the rush? What are we doing on the, uh, you know, them entering our zone? What are they doing in neutral ice? And we looked at that. Not only was it in the back of our net from our own end, but it started a lot from our offensive blue line. 
you know, that has to do with gaps, that has to do with our neutralized play, and then again in our D zone. And we gave up too much time and space. Uh, they got a lot of speed and skill. When you give speed and skill time and space, they're going to beat you. Mm -hmm. And that's what Michigan did to us. So we got to look at that, sorry, we got to look at that, tighten down the gaps, and, uh, you know, take away that because we're going to face another team with speed and skill. How have the guys kind of responded? I mean, what's the mood been around here the past couple days? Well, I think it's been, you know, I think it's been good. I mean, the guys understand, you know, even though we lost two games on the weekend, the one positive thing we got out of the weekend was we got, you know, a bye in the first round of the playoffs, and that's something that was one of our goals all year. Um, so we looked at that, and now we look at another uh, weekend this weekend to prove ourselves against one of the best teams in the country. So our guys are excited. They, they play the game. They play the game to win, and we're going down there trying to prove ourselves as being one of those teams. We've had three tight games against Miami. Uh, we want to go down there and win some hockey games and try to get home ice. Can you kind of put into words what that bye does mean for this program you're trying to build here? I mean, that's, a, that's the, kind of that first step for yeah, it's ex it's exciting. I mean, you know, it's exciting to get that first round by uh, at the same time. Um, you know, now we got to go out there and try to play here at home the following week. And I think that's another opportunity that we still have out there. You know, Miami's playing to win a championship in our league. We're playing to get, you know, home ice here against whoever we play, maybe Ferris or whatnot. But, um, you know, this is just the first part of it. Uh, we'll take this weekend, get that weekend off, and then play whoever we, you know, have that following weekend. But if we can get some points, it gives us a chance.